Hello, I'm Ron Palumbo, a planetarium educator at the Hudson River Museum. Spring is a good time of the year to explore the oldest and most famous group of stars in the night sky, the Big Dipper. Face north and look up to find a rectangle of four stars and an arc of three stars. The Dipper is nearly vertical all month. It's visible all night long and all year long. We call it the Big Dipper like a giant ladle or spoon, and according to legend, people escaping slavery in the South called it the Drinking Gourd and used it to find their way north to freedom. But other cultures saw other things. In England and Ireland, it represents a farmer's plow. The ancient Chinese and the Vikings thought it looked like a chariot or a wagon. In France, it's a saucepan. In India, it represents the seven great sages. But the oldest and most universal interpretation is of a bear, perhaps from prehistoric myths that humans are descended from bears. Native people in both Siberia and North America saw it as a bear followed by three hunters. DNA evidence shows that 15,000 years ago, when there was a land bridge between the two continents, people migrated from Asia to North America and they brought the bear myth with them. In a Greek myth, the bear is the maiden Callisto, transformed by Zeus's jealous wife Hera after Callisto gave birth to Zeus's son Arcus. Arcus was later turned into the little bear, and both were placed in the sky. During the Renaissance, mapmakers expanded the bear to include fainter orphan stars, gave it an unusually long tail, and called it Ursa Major, the great bear. The Dipper was reduced to an asterism, or a group of stars within a bigger constellation. For centuries, navigators have used these stars to point the way to the North Star by extending the line that connects them. The North Star is in the fainter Little Dipper, or Ursa Minor, the Little Bear. In 1995, the Hubble Space Telescope was aimed at a tiny pinpoint here to survey extremely distant galaxies. This famous image shows about 3,000 galaxies, including the oldest and most distant known. We see it as it looked just 400 million years after the Big Bang. These two stars are the most famous double star in the sky. They're called Mizar and Alcor. The ancient Arabs called them the horse and rider, and used Alcor as a vision test. The Japanese believed that a person who could no longer see Alcor would not live another year. But Alcor is easy to see now, so we think it's brightened over the centuries. Something you can't see with the naked eye is that Mizar and Alcor are a system of six stars. Alcor is a binary star, and Mizar is a double binary. Mizar, Alcor, and these stars are siblings. They were born in the same stellar nursery and are traveling through our galaxy together. These two are not related to the others and are moving in different directions. In 100,000 years, the Big Dipper won't look like a dipper anymore. So enjoy it while you can. <laughs>